Hey everybody, welcome back to Real Appeal Gaming Entertainment. My name is John, and we are continuing our quest on trying to find supplies, a battery, and gas from Crawford. Um, so we got the entire group, including Clementine, which didn't really think that I wanted to take her with, but, you know, she's kind of like a good luck charm. She can sneak into small places. She's been very helpful throughout this entire game, so I uh, decided to bring her along as well. So, here we go. Breaking in Crawford. Ooh, easy does it. Let's go. Let's go. This is exciting. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. Let's do this. I can't do it until I get super close. What the fuck? Hello. It is. Yes. I almost hit the wrong button again. Uh. Not good. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! Why are you whispering? In a loud tone. <laughs> Here we go. All right, and Crawford has been taken over by walkers. Fuck, fuck! Do you think they saw us? Definitely. Mm-hmm. Poor Clementine. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. Ben, shut up. No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. You think? I thought you were a student here. I got a bad feeling about this. Shut up, Ben. We all have a bad feeling about this. Ooh. Don't make a man. Just keep moving. Thanks, Molly. <laughs> Here. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. I really do like the uh, the attempt to be quiet. But just because I'm talking like this doesn't make it less quiet. There's something about Bree I really don't like. I don't trust her. Armory. Okay, of course Figures. it's locked. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking?
here. Just give me a sec. Motorable. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you yeah. know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> doesn't it? Molly, what aren't you telling me? Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. So then we just need a battery. This auto shop. It's right next door. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Perfect. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. That's you right. Stand? Oh, okay. Back before you know it. I know she's not your kid, but give her a hug or something, you know, like, good luck. Might not see you again. It was nice knowing you. Something, anything. Nope, staying away from them. And I can The walk. alleyway to the auto shop's down here. You coming or not? Coming. Himself as some kind of supreme leader. Oh, it worked. Sort of. Run, Lee. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Yeah, she's not waiting on you, man. Let's do this. Molly, you out here? Lee, Lee, be quiet. Guess I'm not going that way. Deliveries in the rear. Auto shop must be down this way. Okay. Ooh, what was that? Nothing. Okay, there's the body shop. Herman's. This is the place I'm looking for. So, can't get over there. Well, climbing the fence isn't an option. I could really use Molly right now. Okay. Mm Let's go. Which way am I going? Go this way. And another fence. Okay, so where am I going? Hmm. 
Hmm. Damn. There's gotta be something over here. Get on the roof. Nothing in the shack. Oh, there we go. Sorry. I don't think that's gonna hold your weight, Lee. Okay, it did. Now you can't get back out. Not good. Damn, it's jammed tight. Um, well, nothing over here. Look at the fence again, I guess. More water. Don't get too close. Mm -mm. So I can't get in there. Flying. Leave him. He's mine. Oh. Nice to see you. What? What is going on? Molly? Molly! What? I think you got it. One more! Okay. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Okay. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Hmm. Not a problem. Look what I found. A jack. Oh, yeah. That'll work. Uh oh. Here we go. Lee, you better hurry the hell up. <laughs> of course, the fence is coming. Come on! Yep, kind of figured. Tap, 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 go, 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 Molly, go, Lee. I'm still alive. What? Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Okay. Um. Box door. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Push the no car power. down. No power, of course not. I don't really want to get under it either. Hmm. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. There's gotta be one line around here somewhere, right? Um, it's that blinking light, too. I can't reach it up there. Okay. Looks like Crawford had their own semi trucks. Yeah, the alarm's on. Be careful. Wait, what if I cut the hydraulic hose? Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. What you got? I said don't get under it. Molly, let me borrow your thingy. Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. She Hilda. named it. That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? 
I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Uh, here we go. I did it. Whoa, whoa! Shit. That's probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. Take still it off. attached to the terminals. Still attached to the terminals. Maybe it's still attached to the terminals. Got that one off! Here we go. It's off! Take it. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here, I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Love your backpack. Move your ass! Okay, moving, 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 moving. Lee doesn't know how to run, so I'm just throwing it out there. Now what? Skylight. Skylight is. It's shot. Shoot it out. Okay. Molly is really strong. Thanks, Molly. You're the bestest. Okay, so. Now we're on the roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. <laughs> Parkour. Good God. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. What did you call me? What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. <laughs> I might be. Just a little. Go, 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 go. Got it. Remember the first time I played that and I slipped off. I'm like, oh no. And to my death. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? Seeking revenge. Wait, I want to go this way. Little help! Little help here! Fuck! The doors won't close all the way! Please do something! What do you want to do? Here we go. Oh. Here we go. Take that hold. Damn well better. Except that's glass. You got the fuel. Let's not start high-fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Molly did. Yeah, it. Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Let me talk to Bree for a second. Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? 
I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. That's nice. I'll be back. Got some things to do. Good luck. He's being nice now. I don't know if I like it. Hmm. Pamphlet. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Okay. Hmm. Doing okay, Glenn? Glenn? Yeah. Uh oh, she this said. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? No homework. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? I don't know, Sweet Pea. But we all have to believe they will. Remember what Katja said back on the farm? She said we'll all be home soon. And now she's dead. But we're not. We're still alive. And we have to keep hope alive, too. It's the one thing none of this can take away. It's true. Guess I'll talk to Ben. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? What has she done for me lately? No, wait. There is something you can help me with. What? Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's mm. Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Alright. Last time, I said no. I agree. I think you should tell him. Just not now. You don't get it, Lee. But what am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. Am I still gonna get in trouble for that? I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. You don't agree. Even though I said that it would be an awesome idea. <sighs> Yeah. How are you guys doing with that door? Slower than I'd like. Don't worry, we'll get it open. I think. Okay, so there's nothing I can do here. Creepy ass dolls. Creepy? Yep. Alright. Speaking my lingo. I saw the pamphlets. Look at the rug. Hopscotch. I really don't want to talk to Bree anymore because she's kind of depressing school map so according to Bree fuel is at the maintenance shed medicine might be at the nurse's mm. office and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here but we got all of it so it's okay okay Okay, so apparently I'm supposed to do that because it's saved. Um, shell casings?
I'm just pissing them off right now. Already been fired. They're worthless. No. Okay. I'm sorry. Bloody locker. Shit. Okay. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Hmm. Wait. What am I? What are you doing? You're trying to shoot him? that at all <laughs> so they can't what the I... hell happened they wandered into the hallway after we got inside I think they must have heard us rooting around in here the whole place is infested they're everywhere Calm down. Medicine? I took care of them what about the meds did we find what we need yeah that's our other problem take a look Mm. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Can we just guess the combination? It's a four-digit code. You do the math. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Okay. Ooh, what's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. I'm not gonna shoot it. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Okay, sorry. Ooh, camcorder. No tape inside. Blood on There's the dried blood on this printout, and on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there, then out the door. Hmm. What the hell happened here? Okay. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. Copier? What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Medical file. Hey. And Korea. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? What do we have here? Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I think this guy that... All the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this, but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. I think that's the guy that Molly kicked the crap out of. Damn it! We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. 
Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on it. Crap. I gotta run back outside. Oh, water, don't get too close. No, I got time for that. Okay. I was thinking any of the other games you can run. I keep saying that, but... Ooh. Let's see. He was on the other side, too. Crap. Just gonna watch out for the... That scared the shit out of me. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, I wasn't ready. Oh, there's crap ton of zombies. Oh, hey. Um, come back. I can't believe she didn't kill him. Alright. Loot the doctor's corpse. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Hmm. Shit. Time to go. Time to go. Wait. Don't ask questions. I was just trying to figure out how he got back over there. Getting kind of rowdy over there. Or they're getting super rowdy over there. I found another tape. This one's dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Yes, ma'am. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes? This is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. And that's how the whole thing started. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. That's right. really sad. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You go on ahead. I want to make sure we didn't miss anything. I'll be right behind you. Hmm? Don't take too long.
Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Hmm. What could I possibly need? Vernon and Krista already took everything we need. I can check the drawer. I check the blood. Saw the camcorder. There's really nothing else here. I don't need to watch any of that. Something's changed, and the camera's closer. Here we go. Something's Jesus happened. Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here we go. One battery. Here you go. Thanks, Molly. Where'd he put it? What's that? Nothing. Sure there's nothing you want to tell me? Yeah, I'm sure. Are we done? What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Jesus! Shit. Ben! Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just Crap. found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. <laughs> Shit! She's really Please good. Shoot this fucker! Thanks. It wasn't me! Good going, kid. Nice shot. Thanks. Wow. Okay, let's go, Polita. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sure, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! Damn you, Ben. This is my fault, all my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Fine. Go ahead, tell him. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Yep. Yeah. Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. Gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kitty, listen to me. You can whip his skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go! Nice group you got here. Now's Thanks, the Molly. time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. 
But all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. Uh -oh. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I can't do this right now. I abstain. We'll figure this out later. You mean mad what about the rest to? of us? Don't we get a second? <laughs> Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! So this is this armory that we need. Shit. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Down? No. Goodbye. Close, 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 close. It's not going to hold. Back upstairs. Run, everybody. There you go. Lee, look. Any dandy shotgun. All right. Ooh, watch out for that one. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, not my belly. Okay. So, quickly, drag the leg out. Bring it back up. Give him in the face. Okay. Anybody else? No. Okay. Put the leg out. Look up. How about a Come on, Lee. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Keep backing it up. Zombies everywhere. Oh, shooting. Okay, thanks, Krista. You're awesome. Hacky. Hacky, hacky. Goodbye. Blammo. You're dead. Goodbye. Oh, 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 there's Hatchet. Goodbye. Bye, Hatchet. Come on! Whew. Lee! It's all right, Cliff. I'm fine. Whew. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! That's a whole lot of walkers. Like a whole lot of walkers. Come on, let's go! Lee, we both know 
Let me go. Pull him up, pull him up, pull him up, pull him up, pull him up. Can he can be pissed at me later, I don't care. Why? Go, go, go! Because Clementine. And Kenny wants to whoop your ass, so I'm gonna let him do that. Krista? Everything okay? Omid! What's wrong with Omid? Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Hey. Hey. Back already? Hi, Omid. We got you medicine. Good. <laughs> I feel like I could use some. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind when we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes. Thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Great. Listen, man. About what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? Hmm. What? I don't feel much. I mean... I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her, but this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden. And a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what mm. you want for her, isn't it? To be safe. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. Which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. You mind your business, old man. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is going to wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Nope. Can you believe that? Like, I might not be what's best for Clementine, but... Screw you. We don't give up on family. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks. For everything. It's been fun. So that's it? After all we've been through, you, you're just gonna leave? Yeah. I figured you don't owe me anything. I got what I wanted in Crawford. 
and I never did like the water. Where will you go? I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get there. What do you want me to tell the others? Tell them whatever you want. I'm not real big on goodbyes. Tell Clementine she's going to be okay. You've got a good one there. She reminds me of me. Vernon's trying to tear us apart. Let me ask you, what would you have done? A better future with a bunch of old people that hey, sweet pea. have supplies Jenny's forever? Jenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's getting a feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. <laughs> Great. Right in the feelers, you know what I mean? Just gut punch. Why would you leave that there? Oh, okay. Hmm. Ooh, Clementine? Time. And the walkie talkie's gone. And we gotta search this big ass house. Clementine! Clementine! You're not going to run for that either. Lee. doing out here it ain't safe lee where's clementine she's not in her room last time. vernon ain't in the house either what the hell is going on whose blood is that it's mine oh my god no way no no fucking way there's no time to worry about me clementine's gone there's no chance she just wandered off on her own no no way then who the hell took her i don't know Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, 
I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clint may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. Kenny didn't say anything. What about you, man? Lee, man, you know I care about Clementine, and I am a Christian man, and I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. Kitty, man, I'm begging you here. I can't do this alone. I need your help. Please. Lee. I know you had my back when we first teamed up. You really looked out for me and mine. But ever since then, you've been looking out for yourself more often than your friends. I'm sorry, but you're on your own on this one. What about right, you, Ben? I don't know. Whatever you think is best. I can't make that decision for you, Ben. Mm -mm. You have to decide for yourself. I think maybe it's best I stayed behind. I know you don't have a lot of confidence in me. That's okay. I understand. But you've got enough to worry about with Clementine without me screwing things up. Okay. Guess it's just me and you guys. We should go find Vernon. See if he took her. I'll get the boat out onto the river. Figure I can wait there until you get back. Or at least until nightfall. Can't speak for this one. He might not make it to the river. I'll go with you. You're still gonna take me. Even big. Yeah. We'll figure out what to do about that when the time comes. Come on, guys. Let's go. Mm-mm-mm. So this entire game through, I haven't been uh, getting along with Kenny at all. And this one, this one hurts. Because I like Kenny. He's a good guy. Everyone gone. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Creek, 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 creek. Sounds like normal talking, not walkers. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine, but if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully.
Dun dun dun. Oh. All right. So, did you kill the boy in the attic? You and 74% of the players killed him. Did you lie or threaten Vernon? You and 66% of players ration or were rational and honest. Did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? Crawford, you and 73% of players brought her. Okay. Did you let Ben fall to his death? 66 didn't. And then, did you reveal your bite to the group? You and 80% of the players did. So, all right, we're on uh, we're on the same track as everybody else who came with you. <coughs> Excuse me. Huh. So 18% is the highest. Okay. So Yeah, this is different. I've never I've never played like this before. God, can you imagine Lee and Ben together? No, it's all right. So anyways, um okay, that was that was dramatic. So that's uh that's episode 4 around every corner. And uh, this is a real appeal gaming entertainment video. So if you liked it, subscribe, like, comment. And as always, we appreciate the support. Have a great night.